PCF created some awesome legendary weapons in Outriders and I'm so excited to see what new ones we will see in World Slayer. Five have been revealed today and in this video I'm going to tell you what I think about them and whether they are a key or a dismantle. All of the new legendary weapons come with three mods on them, two from New Horizon and a new tier three mod from the new content. With legendary weapons the base stats of each weapon type are normally identical to the corresponding epic one, so it's really the mod and the attributes that make them unique. Some fall as a standard Standard variant SMG which comes with weapon life leech, status power and skills life leech. Its mods are resistance breaker, ultimate damage link and fire storm which summons a homing fire storm which deals damage and inflicts burn. The size of the fire storm increases each time you land a successful shot with the effect decaying after 10 seconds. I have to say I'm struggling with this gun as to me it seems to be a bit of a muddled mess. With the way the fire storm mod works it looks like it's aimed at fire power builds but the weapon is missing close range damage and while ultimate damage link is a great AOE firepower mod, resistance breaker is better with anomaly builds, albeit no one actually uses it. With firepower devastators needing armor piercing to be truly effective, due to the lack of a round space skill, tricksters typically using shotguns over SMGs and technomancers remaining the long distance specialist, the one class that could get something out of this gun is a volcanic round space pyromancer. The effect of firestorm could synergize well with a new pack skill tree bullet frenzy so that as you unload into enemies you are buffing both your firestorm and your weapon damage and all of the life leech will help to keep the squishiest of the classes alive. I like firestorm but this for me is a dismantle and use it elsewhere. Mythos is a standard variant LMG which seems to be another weapon pushing the idea of a hybrid anomaly power firepower build. It comes with armor piercing, close range damage and healing received. Three good attributes for close range damage. Anomaly enhancement and trigger are both existing tier 2 mods, the latter of which I have never seen used in a build and that's not a good sign. But the new tier 3 mod Omen is a really interesting one. Every 4 seconds shots launch an anomaly projectile that bypasses cover, inflicts bleed, deals damage and debuffs enemies to receive 30% additional damage for 3 seconds. This gun screams of Devastator, it has the right attributes, it inflicts bleed and if any class could pull off a hybrid build it is probably the Devastator. But let's be honest, hybrids just don't work well enough in the game currently and Strigger is just not a good enough mod. For me this is a dismantle and use Omen on a better weapon. Charred Lance is a demolisher variant double gun, on paper this gun has mediocre attributes not having any range damage and what can only be described as an eclectic collection of mods in Resistance Breaker, Judgment Enforcer and the new tier 3 mod Death Ray, which turns this gun into a beam rifle when aiming down sights firing an anomaly beam that deals damage on contact, which of course makes the armor piercing on the gun totally irrelevant. Resistance Breaker does potentially make Death Ray more effective. It's a really interesting combination but I have to say I just don't think it's going to work fully. Most firepower builds have some sort of ammo replenishment on them so Judgment Enforcer will never proc and if it does the 2.7 second reload time would kill our DPS. You're going to want to replace Judgment Enforcer with a damage or debuff mod as a result. I'm going to put this into the keep bracket for now. It's unique enough that I want to test it but I am skeptical that it will actually hold its own against the weapons we already have. Vortex is a fully automatic sniper rifle and I really don't like sniper rifles. Playing with them on a console is painful at best. I hate to say it though but this one has some potential. Its attributes are actually pretty good with crit damage, long range damage and healing received. Concentration Blast is a reasonable tier 3 mod if you can crit here, something which Embalmer's Rage or Critical Point could help with. Improved Weakening Bullets is replaceable and the new tier 3 mod Slashing Twister is potentially an upgraded Sandstorm that does some nice additional damage. To be honest though I I'm never going to use a sniper rifle in a game where it is way too easy to get swarmed by enemies. So this is a big fat dismantle for me and I will slap slashing twister on a weapon that better suits my playstyle. Leave a comment if you disagree. So not a great showing so far but I have saved the best for last. The final weapon is Deathscape, a standard variant assault rifle. While its attributes of crit damage, skills life leech and healing received are okay, missing a damage attribute we would like, its mods are just awesome. Claymore Torrent is a staple of many builds, damage link is a weak 
weaker version of the tier 3 mod, but is actually pretty good. The new tier 3 mod Stigmatized looks pretty damn good. Shots inflict toxic in a 5 second mark. Killing the enemy while the mark is active causes them to explode, dealing damage in a chunky 10 meter radius and spreading the mark to enemies in this area. Swap out damage link for Shadow Comet and watch the explosions chain enemies, wiping out large groups in one go. There was a lot of potential this gun and for me this is a solid keep. So those are the 5 new legendary guns that have been revealed so far. And while the guns themselves are not all that great, the new tier 3 mods do look pretty awesome. If you want to know how you should be preparing for the new content that launches now in 49 days, then check out this video here. Till next time, casual out.